Fairfield man arrested on child porn charges just seven years after molesting a little girl. Tonight, WLWT News 5's Jackie Congedo investigates how some sex offenders get out of jail without doing all the time, only to commit another crime. Mike and Cherie Brent King served less than three years of his 30 year sentence, and now he's accused of possessing child pornography. And tonight, the mother of the little girl he molested says more should be done to keep sex offenders like him behind bars so they can't reoffend. I still wish I'd have seen it coming. Seven years after her daughter was molested, this mother is still hurting. And the 13 year old, who's now a high school graduate, is still scarred. She will take two to three showers a day. But the man who did that to her is back out of jail and, according to investigators, exploiting kids again. I think someone who has had sex with a child is, uh, I don't think they can be fixed from that. I don't see how they can. And Brent King's a perfect example. Dearborn County Prosecutor Aaron Negengard says sex offenders frequently reoffend. In Indiana, he says it's hard to get them in jail for any length of time and just as hard to keep them there. Plea deals are often struck to save young victims from having to testify. And then there's good time earned through good behavior and educational credits. And Negengard says sex offenders have been notorious for taking full advantage of that. So the people qualifying for these education credits and earning an associate's degree and getting out earlier and maximizing the use are sex offenders. So the sex offenders are the ones getting out sooner than even the plea <coughs> calls for. Negengard says Brent King's case is a classic one, sentenced to 30 years. 20 years were suspended in a plea deal, then factor in good time. And that's how investigators say King could collect child porn seven years after molesting this woman's daughter. I would like to see him stay in. King was sentenced to 20 years in Indiana for violating his probation, and he still has to face those 16 counts for child pornography in Butler County. Jackie Congedo, WLWT News 5. In July, Indiana's laws changed, mandating that good time that Jackie was talking about can only reduce a prisoner's sentence by 25 percent.